We have a huge update in the Corey Perry situation with the Chicago Blackhawks. The Blackhawks are moving to terminate his contract. We'll review their statement and discuss what happens next, coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As many of us have been wondering for the last number of days, what the heck is going on with Corey Perry in the Chicago Blackhawks? He mysteriously got pulled from the lineup after being available at practice and uh, taking normal line rushes like he was as well as a power play. Uh, I believe the last practice he attended, if I'm not mistaken, I remember seeing him um, doing things with the fans afterwards and even, I believe, stayed late to work with Connor Bernard, if I'm not mistaken, as well. That could have been slightly before that. I know there was a clip going around social media um, recently before that with him doing some work with Bedard, just doing some one-timers and, and things like that. Um, but yeah, the Blackhawks uh, put out a statement today kind of Ending the speculation of the future of Corey Perry, we still don't know exactly what happened. But here is the statement from the Chicago Blackhawks. It reads as follows. They've said, after an internal investigation, the Blackhawks have determined that Corey Perry has engaged in conduct that is both unacceptable and in violation of both the terms of his standard player contract and Blackhawks policies intended to promote a professional and safe work environment. As such, Perry has been placed on unconditional waivers. In the event Mr. Perry clears, we intend to terminate his contract effective immediately. So 3 o'clock my time, which is in the Atlantic region, 2 o'clock Eastern is when we get the waivers news every day. And this was a bit of a bombshell that a lot of us did not expect. Uh, we knew that there was something going on with Perry and the Blackhawks. Their latest statement said he was going to be away from the team for the foreseeable future. They, you know, um, kind of reiterated that this was an organizational choice. Perry, through his agent, put out a statement a few days ago saying that he had decided to take time away from the team to attend to some personal matters. Um, but then again, based on what reporters were saying, that based on what they had heard, they didn't know exactly what happened, but it was indeed the team choice. However, you know, after the team obviously talked to him and told him that he was basically suspended, I guess, I don't know if they use that word, but essentially that he'd be leaving the team, you know, he could say, well, maybe it's best I do leave. And both of those statements can be true at the same time. Um, however, it looks like the team is what initiated it first. So um, after this time tomorrow, Corey Perry, we know he's going to clear. Nobody's going to pick up a $4 million salary for this player, especially with all the ambiguity around him of what the heck happened without knowing the full story. And he's going to clear. His contract's going to be terminated. Now, of course, if you remember, remember back, we don't see this very often. Normally, when you get unconditional waivers for contract termination, it's mutually agreed upon. Now, this statement does not say that they've mutually agreed to part ways and they're going to terminate the contract. So I would suspect at $4 million bucks for the season, Corey Perry's probably only earned so far, what, maybe one-fourth of that because we're about the quarter way through of the season. So he's probably still owed about $3 million for this season, uh, which he will not now get paid. I wonder if he, or with the help of the NHLPA, if they'll appeal this and try to fight it. Again, we don't know what happened. Um, so that's, you know, depending on what did happen or what the Blackhawks' reasons were, he may not want that to be public. It really depends, right? Uh, but remember back, we did see this with Evander Kane in the San Jose Sharks. I'm not going to speculate that any of the reasons are the same because I don't know that, but it's the most recent example I can think of where, you know, they did this on their own. The player did not agree with it. He fought it, and he did technically win. Uh, the, Bla or the, sorry, the Sharks and Kane came to a resolution uh, and settled. So he did get part of his money. Now, I know there was that one point because he had signed with the Oilers for the rest of the season, and then they were waiting for that resolution to come down, and then he extended it with the Oilers afterwards. So essentially, like, you know, we know the Vander Kane history, at least most of you probably do if you've been following the league for some time. Clearly, there was lots of different things going on with him. He was accused of being you know, bringing a lot of drama to the team in the locker room. There was gambling stuff. I know his ex-wife put out a lot of stories, which I believe all or most of which turned out to be false. Um, it was just a whole ordeal. And he was going through a different, you know, patch of things with at that time. So far, so good. He's been on a better track with the Edmonton Oilers 
in his tenure there. But at the end of the day, uh, there's a lot we don't know about this Corey Perry situation. Obviously, the Blackhawks, have, they moved pretty quick here. For them to complete an investigation that quickly, come to the you know determination that this needs to happen, you know, if you look at the team's past with the whole cover up of abuse and everything, like this is much more swift action. So I know after coming out of that scandal, they vowed to be better. They vowed to, you know, take you know different situations more seriously and whatnot. And it certainly looks like that's the case and that they are. Uh, I will say this: there is some crazy rumors, and I did address this briefly the other day. Um, and I know Frank Valley on his uh, one of his, his online show on Daily Faceoff. Um, he even got mad to the point that he even cursed on the air, which he never does. But he said that the rumors need to be squashed about Perry fooling around with Bedard's mother. Uh, I don't know who started that, but it's certainly uh, nobody has any information to suggest that's true at all. And it's not fair to Connor Bedard or his family to be spreading that. It's complete BS at this point based on what we're hearing. And uh, we may not know the answer. It is odd that we don't know more about the Perry situation. You know, are they protecting somebody or something from the information coming out? Because you never know, right? Depending on what a person does, they can affect others. And maybe making it public will affect other people, which obviously makes you want to be more private about the matter. But at the same time, you know, at the end of the day, do we need to know everything about what happened? We really don't. Now, NHL teams, though, they may want to know because they're going to consider bringing in this guy. He's he's had a long, successful NHL career. If they can sign him for cheap now, they may want to do that, but they're going to want to do their due diligence to make sure that whatever happened is not going to happen again or what have like, I don't know. We, we don't know what's going on. Clearly, Perry felt the need to put out a statement saying he was taking time to deal with personal matters, so... It's definitely something happened off the ice that the Blackhawks found extremely serious and egregious enough to violate his contract that they're doing this this measure. It's pretty serious stuff. So let me know your thoughts on this news. What happens next? And, you know, will we learn anything further? It's difficult to say. And we'll talk further on the channel. We'll be back later with another news and rumor video to recap all the other news from around the NHL. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe and stick around. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.